ladies and welcome to Monday Musings on the hottest day of the year in London and stupendously fantastic day. I'll just show you you can see what a wonderful evening it is in London um, and I'm stuck in the bathroom and we can't get the window open so it's incredibly hot so I'm in my bra because otherwise I just sweat like a pig in a sandwich box. Um, and I've got Victoria behind um, giving us extra information for when my eyesight can't read information and today on the show we were going to have a very nice lady from Brazil but she unfortunately missed her plane so I'm going to discuss what I was going to discuss with her which is my five favorite facial oils and although it might seem odd doing facial oils in this weather there's always an opportunity to massage our face and stimulate our lymphatic system. And I want to just go through a few of those techniques. I'm going to talk about my three favorite SPFs, which I know we've kind of covered before, but it's really a day for always thinking about the SPF, especially if you're following some routines. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Bieg. Hello, Debbie. Good evening. Good evening. I sort of expect you all to be outside in the sunshine, but I think it's a kind of weather where it's so hot, good evening Joe and Laura, that you want to come indoors and just kind of relax and put the fan on. Um, so, I will start with my facial oils and we'll move on and I'm taking all and every questions. Victoria will just interrupt me if I'm going too much off on a tangent and we'll get some questions. Hello Julia, hello um, Raquel. Hello, Lauren from Ledbury. Hi, <laughs> Nina. Okay, everybody, I'll try and um, shout you out because you all watch and I never always manage to get everyone's name. Hello, is that Abigail? Angie. Hello, Angie and Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Um, okay, I have, before I ever do um, an oil, I always exfoliate my face and I, I think I started this, um, this uh, post. Um, where's my Lancer gone? Where's my Lancer gone? I'm going mad. I'm going mad. I'm going mad. There it is. Um, I started this with the thing because my skin is still a bit dodgy and I'm a little bit embarrassed to kind of go barefaced, but you know me, I, I sort of don't give a shit. But I am putting on the normal Lancer that I use often to exfoliate and I, uh, you want to just have your pores so clean so whatever oil you're putting into massage really penetrates. And you can use any exfoliator. I've done lots of posts on exfoliators. So it's 30 degrees still in Weybridge. Oh my God, Angie. Um, hello, Karen. Hello, Gemma. Um, what's on your face? Yes, so this is Dr. Lancer. Now, when you do exfoliation, don't go near your eyes because that's obviously a silly thing. Some of you might think I'm, I'm rough everywhere, but I'm always rough where I feel my skin can take it. Um, and I'll do the backs here. Just, I always forget to just unblock that bit and then I'll do where I've had my little scars and round and round. I've had it on for ages, so I'm going to take it off now. Um, and any questions, Victoria, we can start. Okay. Oh, okay. So, it's, uh, just not, um, not many questions. Just saying hello, good evening. Thank you for joining us, joining and filming. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. I think we're all just settling in. No, i got to be strict here. I have got, because I only have 13% battery, so I thought either I'll just give you 10 minutes, or if we're sort of jollying along, I'm going to try and make this one actually only 30 minutes, but if we're jollying along, um, I've got an extension cord here going out the bathroom, so I must be careful I don't drop water on it, otherwise I'll go Aah! everywhere. Okay, cleaning off my exfoliator with a flannel. And don't forget, because we're going to do the neck today, and lots of you talk about the neck, so I'm going to do some neck stuff. Um, but I'm just going to really clean the neck, redden it up. Um, let me put my hair clip on better. I'm so, so hot. I am so hot. Oh, my skin has got better from last week. I mean, last week was appalling, and what I've done is a treatment which is... Um, called Scarlet and it was something I'm trying out kind of like about 30 needles and it goes in and I think I hadn't cleaned my face properly so it was really uh, it just it screwed up um, it screwed up my skin I hope the results might be good later on I'm gonna start actually with a floral toner because I feel my skin's a bit sticky and floral waters are a wonderful thing for this weather because you might want to refresh your makeup uh, and just use one and if you don't wear heavy makeup in the summer I think in the middle of the day if you kind of put a floral water on it will sort of reset your face this is Omrit Sokova I'm just going to show you my favourites actually wonderful rose one is RMK beautiful rose one 
and these are all so you know there's nothing harmful in them they're just they just turn up your skin a tiny bit but i need to do that because i've left some granules on my face from the lancer so hold on i'm going to be rough and ready with the towel Trini, uh, uh, Junior's asking Trini, can you please help on facial sunscreen if i find that i use too high an spf and it blocks my pores and gives me an outbreak of spots okay i'm going to show you before we start the no you know what all right i have them here for later i'm going to start with sunscreen for you my favorite sunscreen is probably at the moment the Helio Care 360. This is good if you have oily skin. There is also one for spots as well, but this one, actually this one, no, this is just, it comes as a mousse and I'd say if you break out a bit, try that. It comes as a mousse, rubs in really well. It's a fantastic thing. I did it last week actually. So that I would recommend Helio Care. If you um, want something every day, La Roche-Posay does one which is factor 20 or 30, I can't remember. Factor 20. So in this strong sun, I'd use a 30, but it's still very good as a daily city SPF. And one I love, which I haven't used for a long time, which has a wonderful reflectiveness about it, is Results FX. And Results FX are owned by Cosmetics, C-O-S-M-E-D-I-X. And this range, they started for people who'd had laser treatment and they needed products post-laser. So there's a phenomenal cream called Rescue. It's a balm. And then they have this um, SPF and they have two other products, but incredibly good SPF. I'll put it on for you at the end to show you. Um, but those three I'd recommend, and the most inexpensive probably is La Roche-Posay, then Helio Care is about, is it 38 pounds? Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies, we'll just do facial oils quickly because I was going to do them and I want to do them. And also my skin needs some nurturing. So I've got five of my favorites and I'm gonna start with the least expensive Hello, girls. Um, Samantha, hello. Um, and Sharon, hello, Sharon. Uh, do I rate, do I rate what? Alpha H. Alpha H, I don't know Alpha H. Do I know Alpha H? I don't know, tell me more about it. The Ordinary Rose Hip. I went to Desiem last week and I did a little video from there. I'm sorry the sound was bad, but I really just wanted to go in the store and it didn't have Wi-Fi and we just had, to, you know, we just have to fudge it. That's, that's, what we do, we fudge it every day, and I'm sorry we don't have sound technicians making it great. We just have to go with what we have. But I am trying to work on the sound. The Ordinary is 100% rose hip pressed um, oil, and it's like a first press when they say pressed. It's quite a deep color, and it's, I would say, it's not that thick an oil. When I put it in my fingers like this, it feels more vegetable oily than thick olive oily in the texture. Um, and that's just some, some are richer than others, but this is just one oil and many of the oils I'm going to show you are a combination of oils. So when you just have one oil, it's sitting in, um, the rose hip seed. So it's going to be the consistency of that oil, but it goes on nicely and it's got a slight yellowness to it, but it's thin. And I think it's, it's very easy for a massage because your fingers can move around really easily and you won't feel your skin is heavily clogged. Uh, rose hip is incredibly healing oil. It's very good if you suffer from rosacea or, oh, Caroline here, it's going to be in my bathroom next week. Thank you, confirmed. Monday, 6.30 p.m. Morning or evening? I think evening. I think we're doing 6.30 in the evening? Mo Monday, yes. So excited, so excited. Um, that's more like it. So. I would use this if you have rosacea, eczema, or you don't want something that's too thick, a facial oil. It's a really good one, and it's not that expensive, is it? It's nine pounds. Let me just take a bit of that off, because I got to go on and off and on and off and on and off. Um, it's got in it a bit of glycerine and glutamine as well, which are two essential amino acids. So you've got some nice uh, food for your skin in that. Um, now, this, is a really great new one for summer because this is an after sun repair oil and I love the sound of that. And it's from the guy, I don't know if you remember, I did some oils which were 320 megahertz, Rose Otto, and they're from Plant Mead Botanicals, but the man who um, invented this range called Paul is obsessed with the frequency in which different plants and flowers vibrate on. So you can either get into that mode of thinking or not. But what it does is he's taken Rose Otto because he feels it has the highest frequency, which is 
320 megahertz and therefore it has the most potency that's how his brain works but he also finds in this range there's a nighttime oil as well and there's a hand and nail treatment but he finds um, organic equivalent so he uses samphire to be his retinol for his nighttime um, nighttime oil etc etc but this after sun repair oil he's just bought out and I like the fact this is what's so great about this man let me just I just lost the light on my oh no there we go you rub it in and you can just rub it in with a roller ball so you're not going to drip excess product you're not going to lose excess product the smell is just so divine I think there's some neroli in there is there any neroli in there? I don't know. It's just delicious. Mmm, really good. Um, but the oil he uses is harvested in Bulgaria. I don't know if any of you know this, but I do remember Bulgaria has beautiful roses. And Rose Otto is a much more, it's not as sweet as some roses, and it's not as bitter as a tea rose, but it's just a very healthy English garden rose. The oil is thicker than the rose hip, from the, um, than the ordinary one. And there's also a bit of seaweed in this. But where it's very good is if you have had some sunburn and you come in and you're on holiday, put this on afterwards because there's ingredients in it to help with your sunburn. And then the next day, if you have burnt a bit, you kind of wake up with a much more golden tan than if you, than if you didn't put anything on. So it's got in it, let me just tell you, barobo oil, baroba oil. Now baroba oil, are from the African savanna, vitamin D, A and E. That's good. Prevent free radicals. We sort of know that. Neroli, it does have neroli in it. Thank you, I knew I smelt it. It's um, very easy to put on. This kind of oil, I might not do a facial massage with, but you rub it in and you can feel it absorb. It's not the kind of oil that has such a big molecule that it sits on the surface of your skin. So I love that. And that oil is 34 pounds. Oh, yes. Okay, well, now that you should mention that, there's a few, and it depends how much you want to spend. I think using oils as an addition to our skincare routine, or some people actually just use cleansers and oils, it depends how much of a purist you are, it's putting generally in very organic good ingredients, and all the oils that are part, well, the rosehip, the ordinary, they do use chemicals, but Predominantly, this is just uh, nearly, I think it says 100%. Does it say 100%, Victoria? 100%. Yes, it says 100%. Okay. So they are the most natural form of doing anti-aging, and some have very strong ingredients. And so I'm going to take, tell you my two favourite for anti-aging are probably Vintner's Daughter, which I talked about so much, and it's the most expensive one, and um, Linda Rodin's Olioso. So... I don't know much about the people who own Vintner's Daughter, but I'm going to tell you a tiny bit about Linda um, Rodin because she's a very super, super cool woman. You know how you have, like my idols are Iris Apple, Linda Rodin. They're these kind of women who are timeless, who don't slavishly follow fashion, who have the, the want and need and, and love a strong lip, who um, just don't obey the rules. And they're both like that. And they're both actually much older. So Iris Apple is, is about in her late 80s or 90. And Linda Roden, I'm not sure how old she is, but she was a fashion stylist and then she got obsessed with really healthy ingredients and developed an oil range. And she has an exfoliator as well. But her oil is th thicker than the last two oils I've used, yes. But its smell, if you like jasmine, if you've ever been to India and, or if you're in England and you have nighttime jasmine in your garden, that's the smell of the jasmine that you get when you put this on. And, and when you put on an oil, take the time to just put it in your hand and inhale it. Because that's a part of what you're doing. You're getting the smell as much as putting the product on your face. And you're just having that moment. You know, we can get tons of chemically products and we can shove them on. But this, I feel, take time. That's why I love to massage with these oils. So you can all follow my massages. I've done many I've shown you. But... I'm just going down here, as I've got my bra on, that I can show you when I do. At the end of the day, this is the little massage I do. I've spent, I'll tell you what I've done in the last week. I've stopped sugar like I, not 100% because I had two feasts at the weekend, which are these lovely ice creams, but generally my sugar 
has gone way down. I've done some form of exercise every day. Now I haven't done that for nine, a year, but I went for a walk every morning for an hour. And sometimes I've had to get up six to do that, but I feel so much better, full of so much more energy. I'm not shoving the sugar down at 4 p.m. I'm trying instead to have something not so, you know, not so high, low, spiky. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling more energized and fresher. So my exercise, because I did today, I went to a gym and I said to the woman when she was showing me this flatulent exercise, I said, look, I need something. So she said, do you have you ever done kickboxing? And I said, no, um, I've got quite a bad back. But I said, okay, let's try it. So did this, my God, did I get out all my lack of sugar frustration. But it reminded me of an exercise that I do at the end of the day, which is I get an oil and I just go like that. And I just keep that movement going and I pull down my neck because I find if we work at a computer or if we just feel we're very bunched up, I work at my computer and I lift my arms up and I do that. And I find it very difficult to just put my shoulders, push my shoulders down. So this kind of makes me push my shoulders down. So I just keep doing that like that. And it's really, it's kind of therapeutic. Um, and this oil, I can tell you, this oil, um, the Linda Redden oil, is jasmine, and it's got oh, one second, um, vitamin C a little bit, which is great, um, and it's got orange blossom. So they're all incredibly nurturing products. And then I'll just do a little bit of that for you. Okay, Esther's asking, when is the best time to try the oils? Well, I would say that I could do it on a Sunday morning, give myself a bit of a treat. Sometimes I'll do a, let's say I'm going out in the evening and I've got a very tired face. Let me do my make, wake up one with the fitness daughter. Um, I will, instead of doing a mask, I'll do an oil and I'll just kind of really stimulate. So I'll show you my stimulating massage. I'm gonna use Vintner's daughter for this because it's quite a vigorous one. And so I want a quite oily product. So, rub it in your hands, get it warmed up. <sighs> Sweat even more than you're sweating now. <sighs> get it warmed up, release, release the fragrance. So in Vintner's Daughter, there are 22 bloody ingredients. Very active organic ingredients. It's all wild crafted botanicals, which means that they don't use, you know, kind of farms that are kind of too overproducing goods. Um, and the brand only literally has this one product. So. I'm putting it all on, putting it on, I'll do my little lift up my face. So this is something you want to do when you've spent the whole day and you know, your day's got harder and harder and you're going, Ugh. and we need to go up, up, up. And I'll go round and I'll push up the cheekbone, push up the cheekbone, push up the cheekbone. And then I'll pinch gently. If I pinch too hard, I can leave marks on my face. But as I pinch, I'm pulling this up more than pinching it down. So I'm going like that. All right, so that the, if I go detail and technique, it does help you to see. So I'm pulling up with my thumb, but I'm pinching at the top here. All right, like that. And then I'll go round. You can do your jawline, back and forth scissors, back and forth scissors, like that. I do my little eye thing like that a few times. I'll go round and round, round and round in circles. And then I might even with this, you know, because there's no harm in this, one could do it. If your hands are getting tired, my hands are getting tired now, so I'm just going to show you. I'll take my Foreo and I'll just do the same. And it's not, it's going to be on my Foreo, but it's not going to come off. And I just, I'm stimulating that. I find it very good to keep a tight jaw. And I take the Foreo and I sort of press my skin up into this area, which is draining your whole lymphatic system. So I'll press round. It's especially good for now because I've got the residue of spots. And what I'm really wanting to do is get rid of any stagnation that's in my skin because my lymphatic system has not been moving that well. And it's now had a real upset because it's had such a change in its diet. But that works. And then I'll go up a little bit too so I can get my eyebrows lifted. <sighs> any questions whilst I do this, ladies? Yeah. I think a Borean is fantastic. I like their sleeping mask, which I do use. They have a B, I think it's a BB sleeping mask. 
and also their CC HD cream is a fantastic SPF 30 for the day, um, which is, uh, I, those are my two highest rated products. I also, what else have I tried from Eborium? A few other of their colors for skincare, and they're a little bit too yellow toned pale for me, so I have to be careful on the color. But I, as a range that goes, they're a mid-price Korean range for anyone who doesn't know Eborium. Um, but the hero product probably is their CC HD cream um, and it sort of, you know, does all the right things. If you don't want to wear a foundation, you need SPF. Okay, yes, next. Yes, I mean, I, somebody asked me today, actually, and I'm just going to give you my run-up of, of layering. So, morning, I would do exfoliation and cleanse. I kind of do do a double cleanse in the morning as well, but whatever, a cleanse. Then, at the moment, I'm doing a floral toning water, and I've got a few I'm loving, especially the um, one I just did from Trilogy, but also De Mamiel. Uh, I don't even know if I pronounce it correctly, but they, I don't have it here. It's lovely toning water. Then vitamin C, serum. If you have a powder, put it into your serum. So I would do cleanse, rose water toner, vitamin C serum, um, uh, another serum if you have it. You might have a collagen serum or a lifting serum. And then, depending on the weather, your moisturizer. But I would probably try to double up your moisturizer and SPF. And then after that, if you wear foundation, foundation last. Because you need your SPF to have blended in so that when you put your foundation on, you're not even putting SPF on top and, and ruining it. Um, so that's my preferred order. And if you don't use all those products, still keep that order and just cut out the ones that you're not using. Okay, all right, so my skin has woken up. I do feel better, ladies. I feel that I, my tiredness is going and I think I've mentioned all of them. I would also say, if you have a slightly oily skin, I love Jolie. I'm actually gonna put that on now because it's a really good one. Um, and Jolie are an Australian brand. I've spoken about them quite a lot, but they're like Dr. Hauschka, but they come from Australia. And I think they started only a few years after Dr. Hauschka did in Jolie uh, in Australia. This is called Skin Balancing Facial Oil. So if you, as it says on the packet, um, if you had an oily skin, I think you could use this because it's not too, not too oily. All right, um, same again, a little bit of that. I'm trying to find you the price. Um, I'm trying to find you the price, but it's sunflower oil um, and it helps new skin cells. Sunflower oil can, you know, don't compare this sunflower oil with what you might put in your frying pan to cook things. Very different. This is freshly pressed sunflowers. They smell quite sweet. I think there's something else in there too. But it's quite light. So you could just put this on, pat it off, and then put on your SPF. Um, and Jolique have many oils actually, and I love all their oils. This is just one of them. They have a lovely rose oil as well, and they have an omega oil. So I'd rate all of them, and I think the ingredients are totally um, organic, and there's nothing funny going on. No funny business. Yes, you should, but let's talk about that because you brought me on to my next point. I'm going to take this off. I've done that with you, ladies, the facial oil. I'm just going to put some mist on. So imagine oh, I have an oily skin, which I still do now. Everyone should, to some extent, moisturize. But if you have skin that you have hardly moisturized and you don't feel it's dry, Maybe don't put on a moisturizer because the truest, purest facialists, like the sort of Eve Loms of the world and people very early on, would always say you don't, if your skin can get its own pH balance, you're drinking enough water, you're not dehydrated, you don't really need a moisturizer. If you have a dry skin inherently like mine, you need it, but you don't always need it. But what you sometimes need is a smoothness to your skin for preparation of other things or a tiny bit of moisture. If you have oily skin, putting the wrong moisturizer on might be too heavy and clog your pores and give you extra spots, but there are two, which I've got here today, <coughs> which are very good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There are quite a few 
um, moisturizers now that are water-based and one of them which actually I saw I think on Caroline Huron's had a facial on it but I saw this lovely bottle uh, pot and I thought I'd never heard of that brand and it's called Tatchu and it has this water it's called water what's it called again um, darling I've got the name here what the water cream. it's called the water cream now it goes on like a baby's bottom very you don't feel it's oily but you feel it's hydrating that's the balance if, if you have oily skin this could be wonderful it's an anti-aging cream so you know you're in your 30s 40s you you have an oily skin but you need to look after your skin this could be it it's got wild rose and it's got um hadassah which is a botanical complex green tea which is going to stimulate your skin algae which is going to take away inflammation. So I, it's a really nice product. That's one idea. <clears throat> Another idea is when I went to Desiem, um, I was asking her what's the best Nile products and we went through them. But this one I've been using a little bit and it's, <coughs> excuse me, it is called Multi-Molecule Hyaluronic Complex. Now I find hyaluronic um, serums sometimes really sticky and I don't particularly like them because they, they can just be sticky, but this one from um, Niod is not sticky and it's a little bit hydrating and it's, if you have an oily skin, it won't give you spots. Um, it is, how much is it, darling? Have we got it? You're going to tell me about it, Victoria, because we didn't write it down. 25. 25. 25 pounds? Yeah. yeah so Niod is the more expensive <coughs> end of um, Desiem. So it's not as cheap as the ordinary, but this goes on beautifully. I feel it's hydrating my skin, but I don't feel it's sitting heavily on my skin. It doesn't smell nice, but it doesn't smell horrible, but it's just, just, just try and describe for you that smell. It smells of Weetabix. That's actually, I don't know why, but it smells of Weetabix, which is a British cereal. So that's on there. My skin is very hydrated and I'm gonna finish with some things, aren't I? Oh, I didn't bring that foundation with me, I wanted to talk about that. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay ladies, I'm going to do two things. Let me tell you that, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish off, let me do my, oh, NARS. I bought the new NARS concealer and I really did because I had, you know, a few rollicking spots. You can see some there. And this is actually a concealer that is not the same as, uh, as, 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 as the creamy concealer from NARS, which I'll put under my eyes, um, because it's sort of formulated for people with oily skin, which is great. The creamy concealer I use just under the eye, and that works incredibly well. I'll just put some on now. Very haphazardly. I've got to go out for dinner now. And the creamy concealer has better coverage, blends in well, and will not sit on top of oily skin. It will actually work its way in. Am I putting it on right, ladies? Can you just tell me? Because I cannot see a thing. I've got, for some reason, a very clouded up uh, phone. Is that looking better? Let me put a bit on. Victoria, can you see? Oh my God, it's shit. Excuse me, let me just do that properly. That was so bad. So bad. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Alright, there we go. So you can see it covers well. I so wish I could show you this other foundation. I, I found this foundation I was so in love with and I didn't bring it with me and I was going to talk to you about it today. Um, it's by Juice Bar. It's a serum foundation. It's my most exciting new foundation discovery. But anyway, we'll do that. Yep. Dry sensitive skin and a lot of creams burn your face. I think you've got to go for something for great sensitivity. So Aven Tolerance Range, La Roche Posay, sorry, La Roche Posay Tolerance Range and Aven, Eau d'Aven have something called re, uh, Sensitive Range. So I would do something like that if you're feeling things burn your skin. I don't know if you're using very strong ingredients, but be careful. Be careful. Give your skin a break. Maybe a nice, calm, Facial oil would be good too, um, if you've got some reactions to products. 
Okay, yes, I'm gonna end up, end up with, I'm gonna do a bright lip today. So, I'm gonna do a bright lip with what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna put on the back my top, and this top is from Cos. And I don't know if any of you saw, I had these pajama bottom things from Zara, which I love there. And they have a top to them, but the top was, a, you know, silky fake fabric and I felt so hot in it. So at the weekend I was taking my mum to Zara, took her in a wheelchair, spun around, we had such a good laugh and got her those lovely long cotton dresses. Um, and we, um, oh God, we went into Cos and I saw this shirt and I thought that's such a good shirt because it's cotton. It's the same stripe as the trousers. And then what I did with it is I put, I cut up here because I wanted to put my hands in my pockets and not feel I was bunching up the shirt. So I don't know how many of you do that, but you can just cut along the seam. It wasn't too untidy. I might do the hem again, but it gave me a little bit more aeration and it just felt relaxed. But for this, for this stripe, it's quite strong. So I'm gonna do a strong lip. I need to do, am I going to do a pink lip or a red lip? Red lip's too obvious, I can do a pink lip. Pink lip, pink lip. Any other questions whilst I'm searching? Asking, what did you use on your eyebrows? I used, oh, it's very nice actually. It is, oh, it is, here. Laverna Organic Brow Gel. They only make one colour, really inexpensive. I bought it from Whole Foods. I love it, one of my favourite brow gels. Um, and I'm just about to do my lip. I can't find my pink lip, oh my God. Pink lip! Lip. Okay, I'm gonna do, hmm, what am I gonna do today? I might do this. Let me just see how shockingly strong that is. No, it's too shockingly strong. Oh, fuck. Excuse me, sorry. Bit of an accident, hold on. Hold on. No, that's the wrong pink. Oh, my niece says, can you recommend a foundation that stays on in the summer? Oh, this is a great color, I actually love this color. Hermione, a foundation that stays on the summer, it depends on your skin. Um, but I would say, do tinted moisturise in the summer and concealer more than a foundation if you can help it if it's really hot, because then you can feel your skin can breathe. But, you know, some foundations in the um, in Boots and Things, they have these sort of 24-hour foundations. I don't know how good they are for you but they do have claims that they stay on through thick and thin, through going to the gym. So you could look there. I might look at some that I think are good. I'm wearing here, Lipstick Queen, and I'm putting it on, it's, a, it's called Jean Genie, I think, but it's a sort of soft pink, like that. There. And then although I never, and then I'll actually, you know what, I'm gonna do a tiny bit on my cheek, but my cheeks now feel healthy. That feels healthy. And then I'm going to end with, because I so need it today, I'm gonna to end with some powder, just on my forehead. It Cosmetics, very finely milled powder. I should actually put it on with this brush, hold on. Where are my brushes? Where are my brushes? I'm gonna put it on with this brush. Very finely milled powder. And just on my forehead, where I'm too shiny. I quite like a bit of shine, but not around the nose area and not around where I have um, above my um, lip. That's not very good. But I'll keep it here because I didn't do the facial oil for nothing. All right, and shall I do a little bit of eye? Um, I'll do a tiny bit of eye. Tiny bit of eye and then I'm off because we all got to go off and get on with our day. I might do a kind of, hmm, what color shall I do? What color shall I do? Oh, I'm gonna do a very neutral. I'm gonna do a very neutral. Hold on a second. Hardly there, little color. Hardly there. This is from, this is from, I'll tell you where it's from after, but I think it's Kiko. But I liked the color. It was this kind of grayish, just do a little bit in my socket feeling. Oh, I put a bit too much on, didn't I? But I think that's kind of, we'll blend that in and see how that looks. Oof, oof. Is it? It's a mixture of, shall I tell you what I've done today? I've done a bit of, hang on, I'm just gonna do that. I did a bit of that because my hair was really flat and you all seen it, but I'm just gonna show you my trick, my magic trick. We dry shampoo for those of you who haven't watched this, but I, you just, you know, your hair's flat and you just put it in like this. 
and it's like their dry shampoo or a texture spray have got together and it dries incredibly quickly on your hair. I've still got some bits there. You think it's going to stay wet, but what it's doing is it's turning into a wonderful chemical mess, which actually is giving great body and texture to your hair. So if you're the kind of people who get slightly sweaty hair in this weather, it will immediately give you hair. Give you hair. There we go. Okay, ladies, I'm off out for dinner. I'm so hot that I've got to go. Let me just put a little bit more powder on here and have a lovely evening. And I hope you got something out of that. Bye.